Hey peeps, Phoenix here, and we're continuing with Dust and Elysian Tale. Now, I should probably bring this up, because I noticed it when I was editing a video recently. If you hear a small ping, it might be on my side. Because I do not, I know how to do it, but I am always too lazy to mute my chat. And in doing so, it, you'll hear the ping every now and then. I try to record these videos late at night, so I don't get as many, but lo and behold. Anyway, in the last episode, we defeated the Lady of the Water, and were able to get the water flowing back into the in the tunnel. Bleh. But, it's time to see if we were actually on time. So, let's go ahead and head over to Bopo's house and see how his father's doing. Uh, where? Yep. Dust! Look! The water's running! You did it! We came back as soon as we could. Where's your mother? She's inside with Pa. Once the water started flowing again, she brought it right in for him. Oh, look! Here she comes now! Mama, look! They're here! I told you they'd get the water running again! Bobo, darling. Please come inside. Mama? What is it, Mama? He held on as long as he could, but it just weren't enough. Huh? Oh no! You can't go! Just got the water running, he did! I'm sorry, sweetheart. I truly am. He was such a fighter. It was... It was just his time. And when it comes, there ain't nothing you can do. But we got the water running. We... we failed, Fidget. We weren't fast enough. Damn it! We weren't fast enough! Does you stop that moaning right this instant! You did what you could. You did more than anyone. And for that, you deserve all our thanks. You could have gotten the water running days ago. But I think the hurt was just too hard on him. Ha! Huh? Didn't you hear? I got the water running! Ha! Huh? Ha! Huh? Master, let's give them a moment alone. understand. We got the water running. We did everything we were supposed to. Fidget, it's like what Bopo's mother said. When the life thread calls for you, you must go. He was fated to pass, and there is nothing we could have done to stop it. That doesn't excuse this, Aura. Did you know? Did you know we'd be too late? If I told you before, would you still have tried to save him? The village needed its water supply. I would have gone to the lady either way. Then it doesn't matter what I knew. And it is why there is hope for you yet, Dust. What does that mean? Why is it that every time I make a decision, you treat it like some kind of test? What haven't you told me, Ara? This is not the time nor the place. And just what is the perfect time and place? How many more have to die before you tell me who I am? Who am I, Ara? What am I even doing here? Stop yelling! Just please, please stop. I can't take this right now. We did the best we could, Dust. We did the best we could. I'm sorry, Fidget. I didn't mean to... And stop worrying about who you are! You're dust! You hear me? I don't care who you were! I don't even care if you used to work for that general guy! Because you're dust now! Wise words, Fidget. Dust, your past is fractured, and your future is not yet written. But you have traveled through this world as a beacon of good, and that is all that matters. You're both right. I'm worrying so much about who I was that I've been blind to the good I've done as dust. Anyway, it's late. We should find a place to sleep. 
A wise choice. A night's rest will clear your head. And with these final words, we commit Popop's essence to the life thread, where he joins all who have come and gone, who were and who have been. We'll be seeing you, old friend. Goodbye, my love. Goodbye, Pa. I'll miss you. Bopo. Thank you, Dust. Without you, we wouldn't have any water. You saved Mud Pot. I only wish I could have done more. Nah, you did plenty. You showed me what it means to be strong, even when the world's against you. Pa's gone now, so I gotta be strong for Mama. Strong like you. You're a good kid, Bopo. I think your father would be proud. I think so too. I also think he's happy I found a friend like you. Thank you, Dust. I'm sorry, Bopo, but I have to go now. I have to get back to the surface, to make sure this doesn't happen ever again. You'll come back though, right? You gotta make sure you come back. I... I can't. Mm. I promise. <sighs> well, that's one hell of a scene to start off on. Uh, just to make it clear though, there is no such thing as able to save him in time. You'll always be too late. And that's just how it rolls sometimes. But you'll notice that Bopo has a quest. Are you okay, Bopo? Is there anything I can do? It just doesn't seem real. Pa's gone and I wish... What is it? Well, I wish I could give him a proper send-off, you know? My whole life he'd been telling me about visiting those snowy mountains on the surface. And now he'll never get to see it. Not unless I help him. Dust, do you think somehow you can try and get me some snow? I think Pa would really appreciate it. Of course, Popo. I understand. When I'm in the mountains, I'll remember to bring you back some snow. Promise. Thank you, Dust. Oh, thanks so much. Honestly, Dust? Snow? How do you intend on keeping it cold? This is important to him, Fidget. We'll find a way. Alright, there's our quest. Oy vey. But yeah, there's still stuff we need to do. Are you ready to leave, Dust? I think so, yes. We need to get back to the surface and find that manor Lady Tethys mentioned. Yes, I know of the place she spoke of. An old estate at the foot of the mountains called the Sorrowing Meadow. The Sorrowing Meadow? Is that somewhere between Blood Death Gulch and Endless Pain Hill? It was not always called that, Fidget. It was once a peaceful place. But even now, as we stand so far away from it, I can feel something nefarious emanating from its foundations. Well, that's great! Really, I'm excited. How about you, Dust? You excited? I'm just thrilled, Fidget. Come on, let's get back to the surface. Alright. Although, speaking of which, I suppose I should check to see if... Okay, I'm still missing one sheet then. Oh, right, I got the moss. Oh, and I guessed... Okay. I uh, believe this is maybe behind a hidden cove, blacksmiths... Okay, so we can turn in the red moss. Oh. Hello again, Flowhop. Hello, young man. I hope you're well. We found some clumps of red moss for you. Oh my, yes. These are lovely. They'll last me for quite a while. Here, why don't you stay for a while and have some soup? Guaranteed to be the best soup you've ever had. Ah, uh, I appreciate the offer, but we're kind of in a rush. So we'll take it to go. That's a great idea. All right, here you go. Enjoy now. Thank you, Flohop. Take care. All right, there you go. Well, we're actually starting to get our money back, too. So, we got some soup, I believe, for our reward? Ah, yeah. Wow, that does a lot of good stuff, too. 
I'll keep that on hand though, because I don't want to just end up wasting it. So, I guess we have no other option but to go check out that manor we've been hearing about. And, I know for a fact that this is where we'll get the last, or one of the last, the power-up we need for, oh. General Gaius, you asked for me? Your report, Commander. What news do you bring? Our scouts believe he is alive, General, but his actions are curious. Curious? How so? He ventured into the Siramon Caverns and saved a village of natives. As I understand it, his actions got the water flowing again. If what you tell me is true, Cassius would never... No. Cassius would never. Keep me informed of the situation, Commander. That is all. When did you grow a heart, my friend? Most unlike you. Alright, so we got two new areas to visit. Oh. I should just go there to just show what it is. Uh, what about eating again? Alright. You know what? Let's go ahead and go to the sanctuary so I can show off what it is. It's not much, really. All you do is go inside. And here are our little buddies. We got Bandage Girl, we got Meat Boy. Got a purple resonance gem. Why didn't I grab this before? And Oh, their logo on a box back there and a DJ system. And the character that I didn't really properly introduce since I put him at the end of a video. Spelunky! Or Spelunker. I don't know if he has an actual name, but... Yeah, he's from the game Spelunky, which is a very fun game, if not very difficult. And I know there was another friend I could have saved, but we don't have the keys for it. And I will show off this new power, but first let's head to the Sorrowing Meadow. Well, you weren't able to... Okay, we get it. Chapter 3. Love. I'll, I will say this. The chapter names are kind of corny. <laughs> Alright, but, uh... That's a pos... Oh. Well, I don't believe it. Dust? Dust, is that you, mate? Augustine? Oh, what are you doing all the way out here? Why, I'm heeding the call of grand adventure, venturing forth to seek my fortune in the wilds of this great, untamed wilderness. Actually, Cora asked me to show her the way to some old meadow. The Sorrowing Meadow. Right, that's it. Never was straight with names and faces and words. Did she see why she wanted to come here? This place is pretty bleak. Nope, just asked me to show her the way. As soon as she wandered into the meadow, this crazy magic barrier showed up. Right in convenience, that is. Looks like we're not getting up these mountains, then. You say Cora just wandered off into the meadow? She may not look it, but she's a speedy little bugger. Right. Well, we'd better go look for her. This meadow isn't safe. Augustine, if you're not going to go back to Aurora, you'd better wait here. Way ahead of you, mate. I wait around better than anyone. Good luck out there. He didn't bother asking why he was guiding an old lady to a deathly forest. This never crossed his mind. Ay vey. Yes. He's... Ay. Ooh. I will say this, this is one of my favorite areas in the game. Even though it has some of the most annoying enemies. But this is one of my favorite areas! Oh, and I get to show off Fidget's new power! And this is probably gonna be the one that gets me the thousand point combo, because. Holy crap, this does a lot of hits! Not only that, but these guys take a lot of hits. Like, we're at level 19, and these guys are still tough. Getting close, actually. Come on, come on. Ooh, we're close, we're close. There it is! We got the combo! 
Let's keep it going! Okay, okay, okay. I call it good. I call it good. <laughs> Go! Break. Oh god! Okay, okay, I got a little cocky there. Say anytime you uh, want to throw that in, thank you. Uh, I guess I'll have some of these, but I'll eat these. And then... Yeah, these guys, um, they still hit pretty hard. And, uh, oh crap. Yep, and they explode. Well, the ones with the. Ooh! He's dropping pretzels! God, though, these guys hit hard. I can't even see them half the time! But hey, at least they drop pretzels. Yeah, this is just for silence. I doubt I'll ever use it. So I guess I'll just stick it to Chaldu Labagi. Oh, excuse me. No, oh, sorry about that. Ooh, I got two of these? Sweet! Alright, so let's continue through the Graveyard of Doom. Okay, now we got our flying enemies of the area. Yeah, I know the enemies are unique to each area, but they are the same kind every time. Because you got the heavy ones that need to parry, you got the little grunts, then you got the aerial units, and oh my god, I almost ran right into the brambles. Oh, that's a nest! Crap, 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 die, 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 okay, now I pissed them all off. Okay. Oh, joy. No, really. Use joy. I love playing with these assholes. Okay, okay. Die, die, die now. Die now, die now. Actually, wait a minute. They're already undead, aren't they? Eh, I'm not good with details. Oh, right. Nest. So yeah, this is the best place if you're going for the thousand hit combo. And let's up our... Well, I guess we'll just up our... Attack! And scoop up any money we have, and I saw this wall was breaking. So what do we got down here? Ooh! Oh, cue the music! Ding! Lots of money. Deadly Delight I can care less about because it only heals one and just cure silence. That's really its only use. Okay, you blow up! But yeah, this is a good place to grind for XP. Because with a huge combo, you get a lot of XP out of it. Ooh, that extra damage is actually doing wonders. So what do we got over in this aisle? Oh, save point, thank you. I'll save here just in case something bad happens. Oh, right. Why? Why do they give you the option to go under when you can go over just for oh. It's a maze. <laughs> Come this far together and you're surprised? But it has evil night bands. Evil night bands. Be careful, Dust. I don't remember this thing. It scares me to death knowing I gotta kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Actually, this thing is dying pretty fast. Yeah, this guy isn't as tough as I thought he was. Yeah. Dead just like that. Huh. Oh, wait, okay. I think I know what I'm gonna have to do to get the other treasures around here, and I can't do that just yet. Look at zombies! Oi! This guy's gonna be a problem if they didn't take so many flippin' hits! Again, a great place to grind, but if you're really just trying to rush on through, these guys are pain. Unless I can really use some health right about now. Also, they just they disintegrate when you kill them. And what do we got over? Ooh, key 
for oh yes please Cue music Oh! I should have known. I should have known. And I did. Wait, did we just get more chest keys? I wish I could. Oh, right. No, we did. Yeah, we got an extra key out of that. Weird. Also, why did we get all that red moss if we're only using one? So, one more key, and I can go save one of our uh, buddies. But, uh, I'm more worried about dying right now. I'm just gonna double check to see if there's any extra spots, because sometimes they put little hiding spots for the shopkeepers to be. Uh, 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 uh. Die, 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 die. Yeah, this would be a good grinding spot if I ever wanted to. Again, I think I'm in a good spot to where I don't need to really grind anymore. I might for items and such if I need them, but at the current point, I'm actually pretty good. Oh, jeez! Okay, the one problem with these enemies is that they camouflage with the environment. Because I have run into them multiple times not knowing I was hitting them. Take it as a good thing, take it as a bad thing, you be the judge. Personally, I'm not a fan of that, and I don't think it was intended, but I mean, it does fit the environment, I do suppose. Alright. Oh! Okay, are you all done? Thank you. Alright, we're getting closer. God, I'm sick of these nests! I can only hit them for so many times. Oh well. Easy go, easy go. Ooh, hello. How far did you go, my friend? Ooh, Blue Resonance Gem, too. Ooh, Blueprint and money. Oh, crap. Oh! Oh, ho, 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 ho. Holy crap, I didn't know there was going to be a bomb guy right there. Or there. God, these guys take so many hits. Ridiculous, but again, zombies, so I guess it makes sense. So leave me alone, you bombing zombie. Later! Ay, hey. Okay, are you? No, we're not. Yeah, we're going through like a mausoleum type area. I do like the environment, but the music I noticed, as good as it is, it seems kind of off. It's like, this is sort of epic battleness music, not eerie, zombie, creepy music. Well, I mean, it has the organ and everything, so I guess it makes a little sense. Anyway, shopkeeper! What's going on, buddy? I've noticed the waters in the valley have resumed flowing. It would be ignorant of me to believe you didn't have a part in that. What makes you say that? The waters did not resume flowing of their own accord. Of that, I am certain. Yes, well, we did what needed to be done. As must we all, my friend. What did you find down there, if you don't mind my asking? A powerful creature who was misled by her own rage. Fortunately, we were able to knock some sense into her. And for that, this world is grateful. Take care, my friend. Alright, so let's resupply on some items, because God knows I'm going to need these. I'd like to get these, but good lord, they're expensive. Oh crap, I also need to... Excuse me? Uh... Yeah. And everything else I can give or take. Ooh, but the item drop is nice. Alright, 
let's see if I have anything to give him. Oh, I do. We got the squirt bug arm. A bone. Ectoplasm. And some maggots. Right, do we have anything else we can sell him? Oh, yeah. I suppose we can sell one of these now. Uh, sell this. Sorry, sorry, 60 attack and 40 defense. Oof. Your trend. Okay, now I gotta equip this and decide. Okay, so. Oof. This boosts everything. I think I'll go with this more because it gives me a lot more defense and I need that. Alright, but we're all equipped now. Good. Red, ready to go. And I don't have green. Crap. Well, looks like we're going to be coming back here eventually. Uh, and I can't climb up there yet. Again. We met outside Aurora, remember? Old Cora, they call me. I think it was crazy, old Cora, actually. Yes, I remember you now. What are you doing all the way out here? These meadows are dangerous. Bah! I've known these meadows since I was young. There's not a creature here that could harm me. I'm sensing some delusions of grandeur here. There is something odd about this part of the meadow. Almost as if the creatures are avoiding it. If that's the case, then you should be safe if you stay here, Cora. Well, that's impossible, my dear. I'm not here to sightsee. I have a task to complete, and I will not be leaving until it is done. Crazy! You really shouldn't be wandering around here. What is it you need to do? Maybe I can help. Oh, I couldn't dare impose. It's a dangerous path. And you've done so much for Aurora. I'd hate to ask more of you. No, it's all right. We're searching for the lord of this estate. I've been told he can help me. Perhaps while we're searching for him, we can find whatever it is you're looking for? Really, then? Well, then our goals are aligned, my dear boy. If you do truly wish to speak with the owner of this estate, then you will need to help me. What is it you need? There are four mansions in these meadows. Within each mansion is an item of great personal importance to me and my... Well, the master of the estate. Take this green resonance gem, my dear. You can use it to travel around these meadows much quicker than I ever could. Just, I'm still not too comfortable leaving an old lady here in the middle of nowhere. Neither am I, Fidget, but she seems to know what she's doing. Yeah, but... do you? Is that it, Cora? Four items, four mansions? Honestly, sounds pretty simple if you ask me. For all our sakes, my boy. I hope you're right. Uh, what's that mean? Why'd you have to say it like that? Oh. Alright, so we got a new mission. And do we just talk to him again? Or... Just curious, because he's still at the flag. Please. Okay, yeah, we're just, uh... So, our new goal is to go out and find those items that she's lost. Also, I freaking love how this new necklace is helping us heal. It's not a lot, but it's enough. And, with the green gem, we can go under here now. Ooh, there's a chest. Can I get that? Can I possibly get that? Can I? Can I? I want to get it. Oh, yes I can, okay. Ooh. There's gonna be a lot of wow chicken. Alright, so let's see what we got in the chest. Money, 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 money. And a new series? What's so great about this? In his post, he survived, but the followed him to his grave. Jeez. So it raises luck, but 
God, does it decrease everything else. That'll be one to sell. So I'm going to try and get to a mansion before I end the episode off today. Uh, yeah. oh, there's a lot to explore in this area. Honestly, after we get something from here, we're going to be doing a lot of out-of-story stuff. Because we kind of had to do it... How are they expecting... Oh, it must be from under. But we have a lot we need to do after we finish the mansions. Oh, God. I'm sick of these nests. Thank you. Alright, so explore a little bit. Shall receive. Alright, alright, alright. Okay, that is no fair getting stuck in the wall. But besides, we should be able to. Um, wait, how am I just take it? Ah, there must be something down below. Gee, I think the first of the. Everywhere, aren't you? Come on, come on, time to go. Time to go. Chaz, you can see that pendant has already gone up to nearly full health. Yeah, we got our pendant back too. Plus, some of that one pendant will get us another 50, I think. Or 5 Hey! Stop it! Stop it! Crap, I was trying to... Hey, hey! What the... Oh, oh, oh! I forgot I had those! So, uh, thankfully that happened. Although I am going to try and make sure I don't die. Just for good measure. So yeah, I think the only way you can damage this thing is with the flippin' fidgets magic. I cannot remember any other way to hurt it. Hurt it. If I remember right, there is a way to actually hit it, but I can't remember how. I actually think this is how I <laughs> Actually, wait a minute, I think I might have a- oh god. No, no. Uh, okay, I need some health stuff going on. But I think... This is way better. Yeah, that's definitely working way better. So, yeah, each each of Fidget's powers definitely has a, <laughs> a better use. So, for instance, for more damage, use the fire for multiple damage. Use the pellets for brute damage, use the lightning. It's definitely a good combo. God, though, I need more healing items, no doubt about that. Could you just teleport, sir? Because I don't approve of that. Go, go, go. Thank you. Come again. Thank you. Come again. Jeez. Man, we're already at 61% done. Uh, oh, come on, I want to get to a mansion. Oh, crap! And it's not too fun to know that the nest will respawn if you don't kill it. And even then, I basically meant to say if you go off screen. We should be getting close to a mansion. Oh. Well. I think we have a goal. 
That was stupid. God, these healing items are doing crap. Okay, okay, keep cut. Wow, really? Okay. Why is it always a flippin' mess to these things? There. Now leave me alone. Come on. Time to go fly. Oh, oh, oh. Dang it, I want to... Oh, crap, I want one of those. Oh, crap. Okay, okay, okay. Let's get you to the spot. Let's get you to the spot. Ooh. One, two, okay. Hey! I need to buy stuff from you. A lot of those, and then I'm going to switch to this to sell the coward's pendant. Actually, wait, I'm going to sell these first. I'll keep it. I don't know why, but I'll keep it. More of these. Your transact. Thank. Then equipped. Yeah, because that definitely works a little bit better than we had. Because hot chocolate actually heals for a good amount. I'd grind for money, but God knows that that would get me a little more XP than I'd want. Ooh. ooh. And we have just the key. Ding, 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 ding. Alright, some gems and see what this is, eh? Ooh. Takes me some. Falana holds many mysteries. Look better solving them with this fashion. Yes! I'll definitely take that. Because that gives us a lot of boost for defense and a good luck boost, too. So I'm gonna go! God, leave me alone! Oh, that good. Just die, just die, just die. Thank you. Now, can we please get to a mansion? Again, thank you. Alright, so, here's our first mansion of the four, and with that, I'll call it an episode here. So, in the next episode of Dustin Elysian Tale, we're going to explore the haunted mansions. See you peeps then.